Welcome to the Swing Trading Series. What we will be doing in this video is performing a full breakdown on a pair, both from a technical and in order flow perspective to understand where we can be looking for a nice swing trading opportunity on the pair. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the TradingView platform and every single day I share a lot of free analysis and education on all my platforms. So I really do suggest that you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all this free education and I will see you in the video. The pair that I want to speak about today is AUD CAD, and there are two main reasons for which I decided to speak specifically about AUD CAD in this video. The first one is that it's very near to providing to us a very good trading opportunity. So obviously I want to show you guys what kind of situation we have, and also that the analysis that I can now perform on AUD CAD will be very educational because it will show you exactly what you have to be looking for in the market when you are scanning for opportunities. So what we will be doing is, first of all, checking the market from a technical perspective. We will be looking at the monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes from a directional aspect, obviously using our technical analysis. And then what we will be doing is checking what we have from an order flow perspective, checking the commitment of traders to see what hedge funds and basically the big speculators in the market are currently doing both from an AUD and a CAD perspective. And by using the combination of these two different analysis, we will understand what kind of opportunity we can be looking for. Now let's start the analysis. On the monthly, what do we have? Now from a monthly perspective, we can clearly see that the market has just provided a W formation. Now in general, after a W formation, what you want to see is the market give you a correction back to the neckline of the pattern itself which is the previous resistance, which at that point is turned support. And this is a general pattern that the market creates a lot. Impulse, correction, lower low, and then a higher high, basically creating an overextension in the market from which you expect a retracement that goes to retest exactly the previous resistance, which is now turned support, completing the pattern. So on the monthly, we would like to see the market create a nice move to the downside, to complete the pattern at this zone here, which is the previous resistance, which is now turned support. One last thing that I can quickly show you on the monthly is that this area is not only the neckline of the formation at the moment, but it is also a historical structure level for AUD CAD, which was acting as very strong support here, preceding this move to the upside again, support here, preceding this move to the upside again, turn support here, preceding this move to the upside, and all this structure support was turn resistance here, but it is now again turn support here. So after a retest, we can expect continuation to the upside. But first, we would like to see the market complete the pattern with this move to the downside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what we can see. Now from a weekly perspective, we can see that the market has already failed three times in breaking above this zone. In fact, if we keep charts clean, and just put our horizontal line here so that we know where our downside target is, we can see that the market has failed breaking this zone to the upside here, again here, and again here, basically creating a triple top at this strong resistance area. So at the moment, price action from a weekly perspective is starting to become bearish, from which we can definitely expect more continuation to the downside to complete the W formation that we have on the monthly. What we can also see is that we just had an M formation completed. We had this M formation, the market completed the pattern at the previous support, not on resistance, and from here we can expect continuation to the downside to go and complete the pattern from a monthly perspective. Going down on the daily, what do we see? Now on the daily, we can first of all see that we had definitely spoke about AUD CAD a lot of times in the past. We had spoke about AUD CAD when the market was here, and I explained all the reasons for which from here, we wanted to see this move to the downside. Then we spoke about AUD CAD again when the market was here, and I explained all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create this move to the upside, and then create the continuation lower for the creation of a lower low, and again, 
That is exactly what the market did. Then again, I spoke about AUDCAD after the market had created this W formation when the market was here. And I explained all the reasons for which from here I wanted to see this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And again, after the market had created this impulse and correction, retesting this supply, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see this break lower. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And then I spoke about AUD CAD when the market was here and I explained all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see this move to the upside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. And in my last analysis, I explained all the reasons for which from here we wanted to see the start of the move to the downside. And I will link all this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check out all this previous analysis before the moves happened for obviously further reference and more free education. You find everything linked in the description so you can go and check it out. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. But at the moment, where what is the situation and how we can be looking to capitalize on the next move? Now, from a daily perspective, the structure at the moment is bearish. In fact, we had this impulse to the downside, the market followed by a correction. After the correction, the market tried going lower with this red candle, tried going back up with this green candle and then broke to the downside. Therefore, we have previous support, now some resistance at this area from a daily perspective. So at the moment, we do have structure resistance all inside of here from which we should see the market get rejected to the downside. But at the same time, we also acknowledge that this retracement was quite impulsive compared to the supposed impulse. Therefore, it is definitely riskier to be looking for the continuation to the downside. So let's first go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders to see what hedge funds are doing in the market and to try and gain an edge over our competition in the market. So let's start from the AUD. Now on the AUD, we can see that with the last reports, we first went from having 16K net positions, then we went down to having 8.9K net positions. And now we are again at 10.8K 10, 10 net positions with 7.5K longs added with the last report and 5.6K shorts getting added as well. So we currently had more longs than shorts getting added, which is definitely not good for our bearish outlook on AUD CAD. We want to see more shorts than longs getting added on the AUD, but we're seeing the complete opposite thing, which is not good for our short. And if we go and see what we have from a CAD perspective, we can see that on the CAD, net positions have increased in the long term. We went from minus 33K to minus 18K, we currently have 20.8K long positions and 38K short positions. So definitely longs have increased from 17K to 20K and shorts have decreased from 53 to 38K. So definitely from a CAD perspective, it is good. CAD is strong because shorts have been closed and longs have been opened. So a move to the downside is possible. However, we need to see proper shorting on the AUD, which we still didn't see. So how we will be approaching this kind of situation with students. Now this area here, all this zone here is the decision area for AUD CAT. In fact, all this area here is the zone in which we have to see the market clearly show some confirmations. Because if the market will break above this area, then obviously the setup is invalidated because at that point this previous resistance, which is obviously resistance here, after it is broken to the upside, it will be turned support. So we cannot be looking for the short anymore. So we need to see a proper confirmation inside of this area for prop to basically be looking for a short position in the first place. If the market will fail to provide a confirmation inside of this area, the market will break above that zone. And obviously the, we have to adjust to the new market structure and we cannot be looking for the short anymore. And how do we look for confirmations now, as usual, monthly, weekly and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes when it comes to the direction of the market. But when it comes to entry and confirmations, the best time frame for that is the four hours. So what we will be doing with students now all inside of this area, what we will be doing with students is we will be waiting for the market to shift from a bullish market as it is right now to a bearish market. If the market will not do that, obviously it will continue to the upside. And as I have just explained, we simply cannot be looking for the short anymore because the market has broken the daily structure. However, 
if inside of this area, we will see the market shift from a bullish market as it is right now to a bearish market, and we will see the market provide to us one of our valid entries, then with students, what we will be doing is taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the downside and for the market to complete the monthly pattern as we wanted to see in the first place. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. you find it linked in the description. You first learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies in the program and then you trade them live with me. In fact, every single day you get a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stops, take profits as well as having me answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in.